Okay, so Mr. Langa of Swalishle High School recorded marks for his learners. And so we are given the marks there and further it says the marks are of 100. And also that it's 40% as a pass mark. So remember anything below 40 would be the failing mark. So the first question states that we must arrange these scores in ascending order. Now remember, ascending order would be from lowest to highest. This is ascending, right? And then we have descending. Descending would mean that it starts with the letter D. And one of the ways we can remember this is it's going downwards. So that would be from highest to lowest. So this is some way you can remember this because learners tend to confuse both the ascending and descending. In this case, ascending, highest to lowest. So if we had to put these numbers in order, we start off with the smallest. And we can see that the smallest number is the 18. So we start off with the smallest number. And remember, we're going from smallest to highest. So that's 18. And use the process of elimination. I'm not going to do all, but just to show you elimination is to strike off as you go so you know that you don't miss out a number generally with learners they tend to miss out even just one single number and it makes a huge difference between the rest of the questions that follow so this is basically the order if you had to follow we have um, 35 to follow and then it would be 39 and then we notice that there's a couple of 42s right and then we would have 43, uh, 44, then it would be the 49, it would be the 50, uh, then 52, then it would be 65, 74, 78, um, 80, 81, 86, 92, and lastly, the 98. So what's important is that you need to count the number of numbers you have. So it should be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. And then count, the like, count likewise the question and see if you have 21 numbers. So you know you haven't missed out any of these numbers. So you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, and 21. So basically, we have covered all the numbers. So let's move on to the next question. So how many learners failed the test? So by looking at this, we will look at all the numbers that are below the 40 mark. So this would be this numbers here, which we list these numbers here which would be 18 25 33 35 and 39 so 1.3 what is the value of the median number the median number will be the center number in this case because there are 21 numbers here so we will have 10 on either side and the center number will be the median number so it will be 2 4 6 8 10 and our center number will be 49 2 4 6 8 10 on either side and this is our medium now remember no don't just um circle it as in this case um write down for instance median is equal to 49 1.4 determine the third quartile remember your third quartile is also known as the upper quartile and this is the area that's on the side of the on the upper side of the uh, median our median is 49 so we would work with all the numbers from 50 to 98 so we need to get our middle number there and in this case there are 10 numbers so it would be the center two numbers because we have an even set of numbers so it will be one two three okay, four and five one two three four and five so it would be these two numbers here right the two numbers on either side are counted five and that's how we got 78 and 80 so now know that we need to add these both and divide it by two so it would be 78 plus 80 
divided by 2 and we arrive at an answer of that would be 158 divided by 2 and we get an answer of 79 and this becomes our third quartile or upper quartile so next we have calculate the range for the grade 11 class 11a class so we know that we arrange it from highest to lowest so we know our highest number by looking at the order we is 98 and the lowest number is 18 on our list so all we have to do is highest minus lowest that's our range so let's do this calculation it will be 98 minus 18 and my answer would be 80. 1.6 explain the difference between discrete and continuous data so discrete data would be data that is countable right obviously you'll expand on that data that is countable and an example of such would be the days of the week and then we have continuous continuous is data that is measurable right an example of such would be the market price of a product other definitions one can use is that the discrete has I just add that in there it has data which is which has clear spaces it has clear spaces uh, between the values okay and the other one added could be for continuous it's data that falls on continuous sequence it falls on a continuous sequence so for instance you have decimals and fractions and so on so 1.7 determine the modal um, value now the word modal comes from the word mode so the mode means the most often the number that appears most often and from our sequence you remember that if you look at it and even if you look at it now as it's as it is you'll get the number 42 that appears three times so that's the number that appears most so therefore our mode is 42.